everybody welcome back to my youtube channel and today as you can see i have the thank you dh685 on my desk here which thank you themselves sent me so i could give my honest opinion about it so if you're interested in a gaming projector and you know want to spend some uh, time behind the projector on a big screen at home during the quarantine right then this thing here is pretty freaking insane because this one here is 120 hertz at 8 millisecond response time which is insane when you actually this it's like magic i can't believe they made it so if you want to hear uh, me talking a bit about it a little bit more keep checking the video i leave my amazon link uh, down below in the description uh, so you can buy this it's about 800 euros uh, on Amazon at the moment uh, but anyway take a quick little uh, closer peek at this projector and then I'm gonna talk a lot more about it Resurrected from the dead Hungry for revenge So where do begin with my review here? I mean, there's uh, already a couple of reviews up on YouTube about this projector, right? But this one here is going to be, you know, my experience with it, right? And uh, I guess um, I should state that I have used uh, big LCD TVs as my main, uh, main PC screen for well over a decade now. Uh, I started with a 37 inch LCD uh, TV back in 2007, used it for like four years switched it out to a 52 incher, used that for around four years and then went all the way to 75 inches which I used around four years as well and I mean the experience you know playing games was absolutely magnificent but the best that TVs could do was 36 milliseconds response time at 60 hertz this one here brings me 100 to 150 inches uh, depending how far from the wall the projector is at 120 hertz and 8 millisecond response time 8.3 if i'm to be precise which is absolutely insane and yeah i couldn't really get around, i couldn't really believe it until i actually hooked it up and used it on my wall here uh, of course i still don't have a decent projector screen because they tend to start at around 60 euros which is a really cheap one up to around a thousand euros or something like that right so i'm gonna maybe let my organs recuperate and then sell, uh, harvest one and sell them to buy a decent projector screen as well but what i found out was that i could uh, go to my local uh, bauhaus here and bought some cheap 18 euro wallpaper and just hooked it up uh, via some uh, nails in the wall and it works absolutely fine right and um, yeah after setting it up and drawing uh, some games out i was just absolutely stunned because uh, when launching something like counter strike right a uh, proper you know competitive first person shooter you know which really needs a high re uh, refresh rate monitor do really enjoy the game and really get uh, good at it right well at least it's preferred right and uh, I, I was so stunned the uh, movement is so precise when moving the mouse uh, at 120 hertz right at 8 millisecond response time now of course it's not like one millisecond or four millisecond eight milliseconds is still pretty good um, considering you have 100 to 150 inches on your wall not like a small 24 inch monitor and of course yeah when you're you know traveling with this projector right or even using it at home right playing with your friends although in quarantine it's a little bit more difficult because it's not really appropriate at the moment to get together and play something together right but when you know once the uh, lockdowns have been lifted right you can invite all your friends over and play you know split screen uh, anything you want right and as it's 100 to 150 inches uh, of screen it's a lot easier a lot better uh, to play like that because you have so much more you know viewing uh, space for your 
uh, own enjoyment, right? And it's a lot of fun playing, you know, video games like in, in split screen mode or, you know, whatever game that you, you can play with multiplayer with your friends, right? So that's also another great thing to uh, have with a projector. Uh, but anyway, let's quickly cover some other features that this uh, projector has as well. So first of all, I do like the big manual zoom and focus wheel on the lens. Uh, you can really easily fine tune the image size and sharpness via the wheels. So it uh, fits exactly on whatever surface you are throwing it at, right? And um, yeah, there are also three height adjustable legs underneath the projector and screw holes to mount it um, wherever you want to pretty much, right? And um, yeah, next up there are some nice and easy quick access buttons on top of the projector if you ever might need them. Uh, you also get a very decent remote along with the projector, although the rubber buttons and design feel a bit cheap. Uh, it, it just looks something that you'd get when buying hardware back in 1995. Other than that, there's a decent amount of inputs behind the projector and I do like that there are at least two separate HDMI's. Uh, so you can hook your PC into one of them and your choice of console into the next. Quick question is, why is there a VGA cable uh, that comes with the projector but not a HDMI cable? Anyway, uh, as it is supposed to be a TV replacement, I guess the absence of an optical out was a bit of a shocker to me, uh, but I just hooked optical out to my PC and PS4 instead of the projector. Um, now, as stated earlier, it is a 1080p projector that runs at 120Hz that can output upscaled 4K at 60Hz. On top of that, it does have a very good response time, which is 8.3 milliseconds, so getting to some very serious levels compared to TVs that, you know, run at around 20 to 30 milliseconds or even higher. And TVs, of course, are mostly like just, you know, 40 to 60 inches in size, locked at 60 hertz. And um, yeah, it does also come with proper HDR support. Uh, well, HDR10, which is the bare minimum HDR level, but it is here and it works pretty well. Also, right next to the lens, we do find a proper 5W speaker, which um, does provide a very decent audio quality. Uh, considering it's just built into the frame. Although, for whatever reason, there is only one speaker and it's only on one side of the projector, which might give you OCD. And lastly, the TH685 does come with a 3500 lumens lamp built into it uh, that is meant to deliver up to 15,000 hours of light or in more simple terms, about two full years of 24-7 lamp usage life. And um, you can easily keep an eye on the usage um, through the menu system. And um, yeah, quickly covering the software side of things, the menu itself, it has a lot of good features going for it. Uh, you even have a setting that asks what color your wall surface is. So even if you don't have a white gray or black wall, you can get a pretty good picture even on off-color surfaces. There is also a digital lens shift ability, so you can easily move the screen up or down digitally uh, without needing to raise or lower uh, your projector physically. And you can set the angle, the tilt and of course adjust colors as you wish. All in all, I felt the menu was very well thought out and uh, very easy to navigate through with the remote. So very well done job by BenQ here. And uh, yeah, what I could also uh, find out was that uh, it was perfect for something like PlayStation 4, right? So, uh, console gaming at 1080p. And all of those games were just absolutely amazing to play, like Uncharted 4, which I finally got down, sit down behind my desk here and played it uh, through from beginning to the end. Uh, because when it launched in 2016, uh, I, somehow I didn't play it through and I said to myself, okay, when I get enough funds or grow another organ, extra organ somehow, and I can sell it, you know, then I can get a proper big screen 
and I'm gonna fully enjoy it and play it through then. And that's what I now finally did. And it was absolutely insane. I played like five nights in a row from uh, until the sun went down up until the sun came up and it was just uh, I started at like 10 p.m. and finished like 4 or 5 a.m. Uh, five, no, five nights in a row and just played and enjoyed Uncharted 4 like that. It was just absolutely insane. So all kinds of games like that on this projector is just absolutely incredible. And of course it is a HDR projector. So there's, there's more, there's more uh, coming with this projector. So uh, the HDR is of course the most minimum HDR10 support, right? But still, you know, uh, looking at the difference in Uncharted 4, there was definitely a clear difference uh, in, you know, brightness quality. And I really love that it has HDR. So, you know, using uh, this projector with uh, console games that support HDR was just absolutely uh, perfect. Of course, you can do it in Windows as well, but it's a little bit... Uh, uh, it takes a little bit more effort. You have to enable and disable HDR all the time in Windows uh, because, you know, you can't use Windows with HDR enabled. It's something uh, on Microsoft side to fix. They still haven't done it. Now, another thing to mention is, uh, of course, as it is a projector, right, it does make a little bit noise. And it does have two uh, ventilators built into it. Uh, I think they were like 60 or 80 millimeters. I think 60 millimeters inside here. And they are there to, you know, cool the lamp down. Uh, I've checked some, uh, you know, feedback from other people around, right? Uh, for the DH585, which was the previous model. And many people said that the noise uh, coming from this projector is one of the quieter ones. I mean, I can't really, you know, say if it's true or not, because I've never used a projector before. Uh, if you count out, you know, a few times here and there, whenever I've been into a friend's house, you know, and they have a projector, right, uh, somewhere up in the ceiling. So I'm re not really focusing on the noise level, right. Uh, but I did a small noise test for you guys, comparing it to a PlayStation 4 uh, that is, you know, playing Uncharted 4 at full speed, right? So uh, as noisy as a PlayStation 4 gets uh, versus this one 24-7, right? Because you can't, re it doesn't uh, regulate uh, the fan, uh, ventilator speed, right? The fan speed. So the fans are noisy all the time, which is kind of a bummer. But anyway, I did a small test for you guys. So listen it uh, here. So hopefully that gave you some kind of an idea how loud this projector is. I mean, definitely it's it's not really noticeable when I'm playing video games, right? But when I'm just browsing the web, it's definitely you know, audible, right? So, I mean, hopefully they'll figure something out with projectors in the future, right? Uh, but as they've uh, never figured it out uh, up until this day, right? I don't really believe they can, you know, uh, make it more quieter in the future, but perhaps some way they can put a huge 200 millimeter fan that doesn't need to s spin that fast, right? Or something, I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's the noise level. So that about covers all of the uh, different features that the projector brings on your table or your ceiling or whatever, wherever, right? For around 800 euros, but there's definitely more questions, I'm pretty sure. So let's um, talk a little bit more about gaming. And gaming at 1080p. So gaming at 1080p at 100 inches is um, definitely fine, right? For most games, but games like um, um, like strategy games or action RPG games, which uh, are one of my favorites, right? Uh, I love to play Path of Exile, which is pretty much like Diablo or something like that, right? And um, Path of Exile was actually uh, uncomfortable to play because uh, 1080p doesn't give you as wide of a play area that you could have uh, with a like 1440p resolution or 4K, which you know lets you see a lot more in-game, right? 
Uh, it's not an issue when playing, you know, shooters or maybe even racing games, but yeah, even in racing games you see a lot more, right? So if you're playing uh, from the cockpit view, right, uh, at 1080p it's, uh, it's fine, but you know, 40, uh, 40p or 4k brings you so much more uh, vision that you can see inside the car or whatever game you're playing that is uh, much more preferable to play like that. Of course, that means that you need to have proper hardware for that as well, right? To run games at 1440p or 4K, right? Uh, but yeah, 1080p definitely felt that uh, yeah, I couldn't, I literally couldn't play my most favorite game, which was Path of Exile. Uh, didn't find any issues playing, you know, racing games or uh, adventure games like third-person uh, view games. Those were totally fine at 1080p, but definitely the resolution is uh, kind of a letdown. Now, it is 4K compatible, so it does provide you an option to turn on 4K resolution. But it's just like 1080p upscale to 4K, right? So what it does is pretty much like blur out everything, kind of like what anti-aliasing is doing, right? And I really, I couldn't use it uh, just because of course, the blurriness, right? But the main thing was that you couldn't uh, use 120 hertz anymore. Uh, 4K is uh, limited to 60 hertz, and 60 hertz was definitely, you know, not really good to play if you know what the difference is from 60 to 120 hertz, right? Uh, so yeah, uh, that's kind of a sad thing to see here, and that's the main downside of this projector. But it's just around 800 euros for 100 to 150 inches. That's just absolutely, you can't get any better than that. Uh, but yeah, I definitely can't wait to see what BenQ brings uh, to the table at 4K 120 hertz. So I'm definitely going to be keeping in touch with them and uh, pressing them to give us 4K at 120 hertz, right? Proper 4K. And I, I mean, that, that would be just absolutely insane. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's that's the only downside uh, that I could have uh, found with this uh, projector is that 1080p is kind of you know on the out going out right. Everybody's uh, looking for 4K right now, right? Uh, but of course, 4K needs a lot of power, right? And of course, you know, 4K at 120 hertz, you need over 120 frames per second in games, right? So it might be difficult to get that, right? But maybe with next generation consoles, they bring us better frame rates and stuff like that, right? Uh, so, I mean, you really need to ask yourself, do you really need 4K or not, right? But for 1080p, 1080p actually looks pretty good on the, des uh, on the wall. Uh, you, you can't really, when watching movies, and uh, playing games, right, you can't really tell that it's 1080p unless you start playing the games that, you know, really utilize the huge resolution, right? So you see a lot more uh, on your screen, right? Uh, the bigger your resolution is, which makes some games playable, some games, you know, you, you can't really play at 1080p. It's just, it's not an enjoyable experience. Anyway, uh, that's uh, going to be it for my review. Uh, my final verdict for the BenQ DH685 is going to be a 9.5 out of 10. It's almost a perfect projector. If it could be a little bit quieter and maybe even noiseless projector or have 4K in it and be a little bit more expensive, then I would have easily given it a 10 out of 10. So yeah, thank you has done an incredible job with this projector and I really now believe in projectors that, you know, at least from BenQ that are 120 hertz at 8 milliseconds. I know if I'm looking at a projector like that, that's totally, totally fine to play uh, something comp some competitive games like Counter-Strike or Call of Duty, uh, Warzone or something like that, right, or racing games. It's just absolutely perfect or Uncharted, like PlayStation 4 games and the same for Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. Those games are absolutely insane on this projector. Of course, they're not going to be 120 hertz, but still, they're absolutely insane to play on this projector. So anyway, that's going to be it for my quick little review, quick little review. Uh, if I left something out, please leave a question down below. I'll be sure to answer them. And if you liked the video, leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, maybe do so. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Stay safe there. See you later.